What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be uh, working on this boat. Uh, we got a guy that wants to put some pods on and so I told him what we can do it. We're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, this is a 15 foot tracker. Uh, looks like a 42 bottom, probably about a 50 top. Uh, so we're going to be doing small pods and they're going to be built from us. We, we didn't purchase them. Uh, he wanted them custom made. So we're going to build them and install them and make sure everything works. Please stay tuned. Alright guys, uh, this is the back of the boat. It's a little smaller than uh, mine that we were working on. So what we're going to do is, he has a long tail that goes on here but he wants the flotation pods just because he upgraded his motor and he wants a little bit more flotation in the rear. Same reason why I put mine on. Uh, so what we're gonna do is get the dimensions. I kinda, I have a form that mine are built on and I like how mine are built, so I think we're gonna kinda go off of the same form, just build them to the size of this boat. He also runs an outboard motor so we have to consider that as well. So you need eight inches between each pod, uh, so the middle here, to be able to run a short shaft. Uh, so it can fully turn both ways. Yeah. So what we're thinking is doing 15, five, 15 inches, 15 and a half inches from the top, and eight inches in width. So first, I'm going to take my 8 inches, which is roughly here, so about halfway in between these bolts here, and then 15, 5, so about here, which I think that would be plenty, plenty for that boat. It's gonna, it, it'll probably give him about 170 pounds more flotation. So when he's running his motor and he's up on plane, I mean, this is a smaller boat, so he's not gonna fully get on plane. Uh, the butt end of his boat is gonna be a little bit more squatted. So this is gonna help out a ton. So, uh, so we'll get starting marking everything out here. Um, it'll, it may take us a few days to get everything set up, get all the materials we need. Um, should be able to take you along with us on some of that, or ma mainly Connor after work for the next couple days, but we should be together and whatnot when we're welding and stuff, so exactly. we'll, we'll get on that. Yep, he's going to come over after work and give me a hand. Uh, this is going to be a really fun project, really looking forward to it. Hey guys, thank you for tuning back in. Today we're going to be drawing out all the pieces for the pots. Uh, so we're going to be doing some small pods for his boat because he likes to run a short shaft outboard in the summer. So we want to make sure he has plenty of turning radius so he doesn't have any pod problems. Uh, we have the first uh, tops all measured out here. Uh, we're going to be doing it uh, 15 and a half deep by, let me see, I can't remember, 100%, 15, 15 and a half by 17 and a quarter. Uh, which will give him plenty of space so he can step on the pods, get back in the boat. Also give him at least 170 pounds of flotation for his motor. Okay guys, uh, we've got everything all cut out for both sides of the pods. The only one we haven't cut out yet is the bottom, just because we need to get the, the angles. Right, so we're going to do the bottom very last, so it's ready to go. Uh, so we've got these all cleaned up, all the edges clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of, we're going to build it upside down. Uh, so everything's going to be welded on vertically. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack weld the inside to get it to hold, make sure everything's square, and then we're going to get this one on the same. And then we're going to flip it over and I'm going to do a full outside corner because he wants these sealed so they need to be a hundred percent well
Okay guys, we got everything cut up and uh, we have the box pretty much built. Um, we got, I'll kind of take you around it. It's a little warm still, so let me grab my, my gloves. So what I started with is welding the top edges just to make sure they're looking nice. So that's the top, that's the top of the pod. So we've got weld here, weld here, weld here, and then on this side here. The reason why you can't see this side is because we had to match the angle of the boat with this. So it looks like that on the inside instead of 90, 90 degrees all the way around. At first what we did is we did little tack welds inside to hold it in place and we went up to the boat and we measured it to make sure it was going to fit right. And then when we confirmed it was going to fit right, we went ahead and fired up the TIG and just got to it. Got welding, uh, making it watertight. So now that I'm done with these top edges, I'm going to go ahead and hit all these side edges down on this side. All those. Just make it all in one. Make it a box. And then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over, measure it back up with the boat, and we're going to build the bottom piece that goes in here, and we will do the same thing. We're going to weld everything in so it's 100% sealed. And then we'll measure it up to the boat. We've got a little bit of tweaking. When you mount pods, you have to have them uh, a quarter inch to a half inch uh, tilted up just so when you're on plane, the pod is sitting level with the, with the water. Okay guys, pod's all welded together. There's the inside of it. What we're gonna do is, we're just gonna put it up against the boat, and make sure that it's tilted just a hair. That's why we have that much overhang, is to compensate for the angle in the transom, plus the angle that it needs to mount to the boat. Uh, so follow me. That measured up perfectly. Perfect angles. Alright, yeah, and that's how they're gonna mount, it's just like that. And then we have pieces for this here that we'll have to put in there. But uh yeah. Looks that, like it's gonna fit perfect. Yeah, that's a success right there. So we got that all put on there. Tomorrow we're going to work on building the other side and then possibly welding it to the boat. Um, we got to add that little filler piece that goes in the, the triangle right there. So we'll get that all, all in and welded up. Okay guys, uh, I'm going to show you the transom, how bent the transom is. Uh, so here is flush, here is flush, look at that, it's like a quarter inch there. So you can actually kind of see right here the curve of the kind of hard to tell on camera but it cur like totally curves and it's not one direction it's both so that's what we had to do to get it started to attach yep and so now we're gonna I'm gonna weld from here to probably this one and then weld I don't know
don't know. I think I might put a piece here. That's just... That's just too much. Yeah, it's a lot. So I might put a piece right here and weld it on top. Because he wants to be able to stand on and jump on it. He can't do it with a bent transom. So uh, we'll make it work. Well, it's just going to take a little bit more material. But that's just what it is. All right, guys, so we got one of the pods on. As you can see, I'm sitting here bouncing on it. So it's it's on there good. Um, good good welds on there. It's it's pretty. It's it's tough. I'm 130 pounds, and there's only one 13 inch weld on there. So good strong welds. All right, guys, um, this is the second pod. We didn't show you the build of this one just because I think we explained it in the first one. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we've already done it to the first one but we're gonna water test this make sure it's sealed and uh, ready to go ready to mount on the boat so <laughs> Three little tacks on here, just holding the bottom on. We're gonna add one right here to the top just to hold it in place. Um, we're almost out of gas, so Connor's probably gonna have to go get more gas tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, put the sucker welded on, flip it over. guys one pod all the way welded up all the way around uh, what I did is double back the welds because I want them to be really really strong uh, so instead of just putting a puddle right in the corner what I did is did a puddle on the pod itself then on the boat and then did one in between uh, just because I want everything to be filled in with a good amount of material so it doesn't crack down the road because duck boats they take a beating Pods are about eighty percent done. I just cut the holes out for the plugs. But they are 100% welded all the way around. So now what we're going to do is I cut these little, they're one inch tube on the inside about two inches long. I cut two of them. And we're going to insert them here, just like that. We're going to weld them in so a standard plug can go in them. Alright guys, that is a wrap on this pod video. Um, we got everything welded in here, all the way around. As you can see, we have the chain hoist lifting the boat up. Uh, I went around um, what I didn't mention to you guys as well is he has a little bit of a bent transom so we had to compensate a little bit of the pod with the transom to make it work it was kind of kind of a pain in the butt uh, so that's why you see a little bit more of some thicker 
welds up here just because I wanted to make sure 100% that everything was taken care of and stuck properly. So what I did is I ran a bead on his boat and then I ran a bead on the pod and then I did one right in the center. Um, the pod matched really, really close. I would say there was about, I would say no more than an eighth of an inch gap uh, in between the pod and the boat. That's why I went ahead and did a bead up top and a bead on bottom and then in the, the one in the middle just to make sure 100% that the pod was going to be very, very secure on here. Uh, went all the way down, it's 100% sealed. They're super solid, super, super solid. Very happy with how they turned out. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go and get some paint. We're going to paint these the OD green. Thank you guys. Uh, please stay tuned for our next videos. Our next build will be the airboat. It is at the warehouse right now in the garage. Uh, we're going to start some build on that this weekend. Okay guys, pods are all done. Uh, just got done painting them. Uh, they're super solid. I was able to stand on it. The trailer came up uh, just because of the weight on the back. I mean, they're very, very strong. Uh, yeah, well done with this. I called the guy, told him to come pick them up. So, he should be here shortly. Uh, I tested the plugs right here, and they work great. Uh, so, the holes fit. They're perfectly sealed, welded all the way around them. Uh, yeah, I think that's a wrap for this video. Thank you for tuning in, guys.